Tio Yusuf Noah, commonly known as Refiga Heavyweight, has been running Simama na Kibra, a slum feeding program for needy families during the COVID pandemic. The music producer talks about reaching over 100,000 families, his musical career, his 1 million shillings football tournament, Kibra Future, and Nubians. He spoke to our very own Charles Sotieno. Listen. In. Welcome to our episode of History Makers. On this interview, we are hanging out with none other than Refiga. How is Kibra though? Kibra is Kosawa Kabisa. How is Grandpa? Grandpa Records or which Grandpa? You talk records. About grandpa Let's days. start off with Grandpa Records. Grandpa Records. Yes. Uh, I have taken a break yes. since 2017. Yes. So, see uh, Running a stable, mm in Kenya is one of the hardest things to do. Mm. Because the moment you sign an artist, mm. they'll ask you for rent, uh -huh. <laughs> they will ask you for clothes, they will ask you any, vile tu naona vile your son pale nyumbani. Anauliza. Eh, kila kitu, yani ni kama tu immediately, ni kama tu mekatia dem Nairobi. <laughs> Immediately, yeah. 2K urgently, uh -huh. cash on my bills is in a pound. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the same with Kenya, the moment you sign an artist, as much as even the contract indicates in our nation what is your responsibility, Yes. Yeah. yeah. still they go beyond. Uh -huh. So, kama hauna rongumu hiyo kazi ya wezani nae. So, imekuwa quite challenge, and then the other challenge yeah. is... Uh, Artists are always good listeners mm. when they have nothing. When they are like, coming like, up. The moment Akishika Pesa ile mpango yote mulikuwa na unamuambia tuende ni kuonesho nunue shamba siyo kimao, wakiriva, waki, at that time hawezi taka uhusikia. Mm. Pesa ikipotea tena atarudi, uhusikia advice. <laughs> I will be back. <laughs> yeah. So it's very hard, and uh, most time the artists make you look bad. Yeah. The yeah. artists make you look bad. Eh? Because you see, come on today, Charles Hotel, I signed you. We worked with you for three years. Eh? Yes. What we are on, to make what we end up on, but we end up up. We na fanya ma shows, ringtones, ringbacks, yeah. making money from all avenues. Eh? Yes. Alafu, mm. after three years, when our contract ends, yeah. you become a pauper. Kunaanza kuomba omba hapa na pale. Yeah. You make me look bad. Mm. People just think, ah, uh, chasi otieno mazali ibiyo yo jama. Mm. You see, yes. but you see, what people don't ask is, for those three years, u jama kipanda ndege ya kipige hizo show zote, mm. alikuwa nakubali kuzifanya bure. So how did you decide this is hip-hop? I will get into hip-hop, kibra is not a hip-hop place and you influenced later of course octopizo mm. uh k force yes yes or from kibra i think octopizo octopizo k force you I see think. what happened eh? yeah uh, i have my elder brother mm. dj mose oh mose, the dark yes. child they are yeah, mose the dark so child, that yes. was one of our major influences yeah so he used to be a DJ in Florida. Yes. He was a CD. Wakati yoni CD. Yakuna flash. He was a LP na CD. Yes. So from Redman, Wu Tang Clan, Ice Cube, Dr. Mm -hmm. So he used to have all these CDs and apuja na yokuoka Florida. Mm -hmm. So we go to his place. Yeah. So that is how our influence grew in hip hop. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. your environment, you're King Lion sounds. Eh? Uh -huh. So how do you influence the upcoming youngsters? to take up the Nubian culture and also to grow in arts? Uh, you see, first of all, yeah, mm. Nubians are very cultured people. Yeah. Very, very. I think in Kenya, hata tunashenda Masai kwa utamaduni. Like, kama kama kuna wale hatu wameshika, like, you can historia Nubians that have been in Kenya for over 100 years, eh? Mm. Come and attend our weddings. Mm. Our daily lives. Mm. We are the most cultured people. Mm. And, uh, what we, what we try to do the most mm. is the young ones who are coming up. So we try so much mm. through different programs to mm. keep them intact. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what what happens in a Nubian wedding? Wedding yako, you didn't invite me. The first one, you didn't. Are you sure? You didn't. 
Sio unajua wewe ni mkubwa hata kukufikia ni shida. <laughs> hata kula wali pale kukufikia ni shida inamaanisha hata nilijaribu kupenya penya hapa labda <laughs> nikaambiwa una appointment na mkubwa sasa. Eh? Sasa no shida ilikuwa ni wewe. <laughs> shida ni wewe. <laughs> shida ni wewe. <laughs> Because everyone from standard group came. So back to Bobby. Yes. When you went to Uganda all this time, did Mseveni track your calls or because you've always with Bobby when he's actually yes. fighting the system? Uh -huh. And uh, how how is that relationship with other NRM guys? Ah, the you mayor, see one yeah. thing, eh? yeah. Bobby is my personal friend. Yeah. I've never interfered in Ugandan politics. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There'll always be a problem when you interfere in their politics. Mm. Yeah? yeah. I've mm. never interfered in Ugandan politics. Mm. Bobby is a personal friend. Mm. Either he's a politician, a musician, or tomorrow he decides to be a farmer. Mm. He's been my friend and he'll still be my friend. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And uh, the same I have very close friends who are within the Ugandan government. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I have a number of ministers, member of parliament, who are my friends. Mm. The, the former speaker, Rebecca Kadaga, is a very good friend. Mm. The Lord Mayor of Kampala, Rukwago, is a very good friend. So, as I told you, I'm a man of people. Are you vying for Kibra 2022? I had that rumors. I've been... Are you the people campaigning behind my back? No, 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 no. Yes. Are you vying? <laughs> no, I'm asking you, are you the people spreading the rumors? You yeah. know, the, the current why, Kibra why, MP why, why, is why, your why, friend. Yeah? Kevin Kibra MP is your friend. Yeah. Even the late brother. Even the late Ken yes, yes, and yes, of course. Hasa ndo mimi nauliza hiyo vumi ni nini mna mnaeneza? Musipatie watu hata attack. Eh? Musipatie watu. Na si tusiongee si hasa hebu tuongee mambo mengine. Ukulima, unajua pia mimi napenda ukulima. Pa unalima wapi Kibra tu na shamba pale? Sio Kibra, mimi nalima Baringo, Marigat. Watermelon. So you are a farmer. I'm a farmer. How many tons of watermelon? Ah, me many more na biashara mdogo bana. Yangu ni kidogo kidogo bana. Boss, mbona unanifikisha uko juu sana hivi? Mimi bado niwe. Sijafikisha kuku za DP. Yangu bado ni kidogo kidogo. Well, that's all we had for you here on the Friday Briefing. Thank you very much for your company. I'm Ashley Mazuri. Our sign language interpreter is Marisha Witi. Have a good night. Be blessed.